Hi there and welcome to this video. I was recently working on a project where I had to create some custom brushes uh, for Substance Painter and I thought it would be a cool idea to show you how to do this exactly. It's very simple actually, much more uh, simpler than you think it is. So here goes. So basically like all these brushes here, they're all just custom made. There's a few ways you can do it. You can use uh, Substance Designer and bring it in that way or you can do it the way I'm just about to show you. So we start off with going to Photoshop here, ironically, and you can see here I've created a black and white image. And when it comes to a brush in Substance Painter, the black is transparent, the white is solid, and the white is what gets drawn. And you can see here, I've called this rake brush um, and that's it, just a black and white image. It's a TGA, it doesn't have to be. I think it can be uh, whatever format you, you like. A JPEG or a PNG file is fine. Um, so just create that, save it out. Go into Substance Painter, locate your black and white image that you've created to make your brush. Click it and drag it into your shelf like this. Into Actually, click, click on alphas just to be sure. Uh, you don't have to click on alphas because it will put it there anyway. But just so we're clear, click on alpha, drag your file onto the shelf and let go. And then you'll get this dialog box here. And you need to tell Substance that this is an alpha, like that, and that you want it on your shelf shelf. And then click on import and you'll see there is my image right there. Now select a brush that you're happy with. So go to your brushes. Select one. You have to be careful with brushes because uh, you take this soft one. I've got a, a tablet right, and I've got currently got uh, pen pressure selected. But if I do a light touch with this, let's make it big. Well, this is a quite a big brush. Do a light touch with this one. I get this fine line. It's not the brush I expected. If I press hard, I get this, which is what you would expect. So between that and that, it's a bit weird. So if you go to something like um, Dirt One, for example, and you do a light touch with this, you get what you kind of expect you would get. You get the brush, but light. If you press hard, you get the brush, but hard, a hard brush. So you gotta be careful which one you choose. And I always choose the dirt brush as my base here. So choose the dirt brush if that's what you want. Then come over here to your properties. Um, and where you see alpha, go back to your alphas, find your brush, your rake brush, drag it into the alpha like so and let go. And you get all this. And you have your rake brush on your brush um, and then you can go up here and uh, adjust I always leave size flow and stroke opacity I'm always using so it doesn't really matter about that take the spacing down some far as you can to one um, right you want to turn off all the jitters well I do I, I'm not using them for the current project I'm working on so I get a so I get a very a rakey brush like that which is very cool. Once you've done that, and you've set up your brush, just right click in the brush area like this and go to Create Brush Preset, like that. And it'll go back to your brushes on your shelf and you'll see your brush created here. If you right click on that, you can change the name up the top here and call it, um, well, in fact, it would be best if you called it uh, the same as you called your black and white image file, which mine was BRI Make Brush, like that. Hit return, close that. And if you go to your B's, BRI Make Brush. Let's create a new. Let's delete this layer here. And then if you paint with that, 
the paintbrush, you can see that's my rake. My rake brush. And that, once you save your project, and well, any, you know, if you start a new project, that will always be in there. The brushes that you create will always be there. So that is how you create a rake brush. That is not a rake brush. That is how you create any brush, in fact. Like so. There we go. How cool is that? That's it. Very quick, very simple. And I hope you like that. If you do, like, subscribe, and do all those things that you, you're asked to do on every video. And I will see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.